I have a little assignment that I would like you to do. I want you to think about the assumptions that you have about the audience. The audience that's visiting your website. If you don't have a website, perhaps it's the audience that's visiting your web page. Perhaps it's people that's actually, that are actually walking into your office. It could be people visiting your LinkedIn page. It could be assumptions about who is in your email list and who's reading your emails. Just write down some guesses as to who you think those audience members are. And next, what I want you to do is look at some analytics tools. So it could be Google Analytics. It could be SEMrush. could be SpyFu. could be just looking at your CRM data. could be looking at the parameters in your the cold email list that you produced to see, okay, what industries do these people actually belong to. And what I want you to do is create a profile based on the actual data that you have and see if there are any disconnects between your assumptions and what the actual audience makeup is. And hopefully that'll help you change some of the messaging, some of the imagery, some of the strategic approaches you have to conversion rate optimization. Often when I see underperforming conversions, usually there's something about the list or the audience that people just don't understand, they're not grasping because there's a disconnect between, in theory, who is actually visiting and who actually is and who is looking at it. And sometimes it's not at the company level. It's not that the wrong companies are visiting your website, but it's at, it's, it's at a different level of seniority of people that are looking at your content. And that could, for example, be the end users. Maybe the end users is a manager level person, but all your messaging is catering to the C-suite, the VP suite, or it could be the reverse. Uh, so just take a look, see if you can get some insights that are surprising and disconnected from your assumptions.